There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and Cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then, one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defence against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Three up, two across. Right, stand back, Harry. Welcome 
to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivanders. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up and let's see if it likes you. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. Ebony and unicorn hair. Eight and a half inches. Springy. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. Go on, go on, try it out. My goodness, definitely not. Try another one to Mr. Potter. Ebony and unicorn hair, eight and a half inches, springy. Try another one to Mr. Potter. Beechwood and dragon heartstring, nine inches, nice and flexible. Go on, go on, try it out. No, definitely not. You should try another wand, Mr. Potter. Pick it up, and let's see if it chooses you. Beechwood and dragon heartstring. Nine inches. Nice and flexible.
ebony and unicorn hair. Eight and a half inches. Springy. Ebony and unicorn hair. Eight and a half inches. Springy. Go on, go on, try it out. Holly and Phoenix feather. Eleven inches. Nice and supple. Curious. I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when it's brother. Why, its brother gave you that scar. Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes. But great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Over here, Mr. Potter. Flavor. Ugh. Fishy sardine flavor. Mmm, coffee. Mmm, curry. Mmm, curry. Mmm, toast. Over here, Mr. Potter. Mmm, peppermint. Ugh, liver. Ugh, liver. Mmm, curry. Mmm, coffee. Mmm, marmalade. Yuck! Grass flavor! Mmm, coffee. 
coffee. Spinach flavour? Revolting! Vomit flavour! Mmm, <sighs> chocolate. Mmm, coffee. Mmm, marmalade. Pick up this spell book to gain the flippendo knockback jinx. Pick up this spell book to gain the flippendo knockback jinx. Oh, bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. If you'd kindly follow me. I must aim my spells at them. Mmm, <laughs> marmalade. Mmm, <laughs> peppermint. Mmm, <laughs> toast. Tripe. Yuck! Grass flavor. Oh, mmm, coconut.
A wizard card! Felix Summerby 1447 to 1508 Inventor of cheering charms Chocolate. Mmm, curry. Spinach flavour. Mmm, marmalade. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Target the shields and flippendo them. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio bruti. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio bruti. More information concerning imps may be found in the folio bruti over there. These imps can be a nuisance. 
Try knocking them over with Flapendo. Then pick them up and lock them in the cages. These imps can be imps. Try knocking them over with Flapendo. Then pick them up and lock them in the cages. If you'd kindly follow me. A pumpkin pasty. A cauldron cake. Alberta Tootil, 1391 to 1483, winner of the All England Wizarding Dueling Competition of 1430, famously overcame the favourite Samson Wiblin with a blasting curse. cast a spell while moving. You need to target the shield on this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. Up, Mr. Potter. You must keep the shield targeted. Well done, Mr. Potter. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Time, I'd like you to power up the Flipendo spell before casting it. Like this. Flipendo!
Have you read the book I gave you yet? To cast really powerful spells, you need to build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. Done, Mr. Potter. Godric Gryffindor. Medieval, dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. If you'd kindly follow me. Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's beautiful. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig, and she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. The train slowed right down and finally stopped. They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once gliding across the lake, which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Ooh, wicked! One by one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin! Not Slytherin! Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Hey, Harry! Hello! I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. We've got to follow that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. That prefix, Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, Ron. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. Huh? You must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming. We'd better go. Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up. Come on, Harry. We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. But it's really great being famous. You know, when I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, I just look in my remember all. Hello, Harry Potter. I recognized you at once. Hello, Harry Potter. I recognized you at once. 
Crabbe and Goyle are the ugliest people I've ever seen. It's been a long day. I'm for a nice mug of cocoa and a good night's sleep. Quidditch is the greatest sport in the wizarding world. Quidditch is the greatest sport in the wizarding world. Quidditch is the greatest sport in the wizarding world. My money's on the Chudley Cannons coming bottom of the league again this year. My money's on the Chudley Cannons coming bottom of the league again this year. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. You must be worn out, Harry. I know I am. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Oh, I'm pretty tired, Harry. Aren't you? Oh, I'm pretty tired, Harry. Aren't you? The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. The sorting ceremony song is different every year. I think Ravenclaw's got the most handsome Quidditch team at Hogwarts. Do I know you? Ah, yes. You're the famous Harry Potter. Pleased to meet you. Professor Snape's potion class smells worse than a dung bomb. My money's on the Chudley Cannons coming bottom of the league again this year. This year? Do I know you? Ah, yes. You're the famous Harry Potter. Pleased to meet you. Professor Snape's potion class smells worse than a dung bomb. It's been a long day. I'm for a nice mug of cocoa and a good night's sleep. You know, when I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, I just look in my remember all. This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. We'd better follow Percy. Hello, Harry. I'm so glad I got sorted into Gryffindor like my brothers. Come on, Harry, get to the common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Hello, Harry. I'm so glad I got sorted into Gryffindor like my brothers. Peeves, a poltergeist. <laughs> Way, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects.
keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Over here, Harry. Come on, Harry, get to the common room. Hello, Harry. I'm so glad I got sorted into Gryffindor like my brothers. We'd better follow Percy. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. Gather round here. Password? You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Thanks, Harry. Password? Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. Move on, hurry! A wizard card! Adalbert Waffling, 1899-1981, famous magical theoretician. You really should go and see Fred and George, Harry. They've got some brilliant stuff to trade. There are lots of people around Hogwarts who will trade wizard cards with you. sleep Harry do you ever sleep Harry don't know about you but I'm so tired don't know about you but I'm so tired
Never sleep, Harry. Get a move on, Harry. Big snout. Come here. Hello, Harry. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts, Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. And, as a special bonus, for just 10 beans you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow, I've got to try this. It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. How much is the Edgar Strulger card? It'll cost 30 beans. Limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? It'll cost 50 beans. How much is this Bertie Bot bean carrying bag? It'll cost 50 beans. Dung bombs? How much are they? It'll cost 20 beans. You can use dung bombs to play some great pranks. Just make sure you get out of the way before they explode. Albert Grunion, the inventor of the dung bomb. How much is that? It'll cost 30 beans. How much is a pack of stink pellets? It'll cost 20 beans. Stink pellets are a great way to stop prefects catching you. But I didn't tell you that, did I? Watch out you aren't seen by a prefect, Harry. I'd get back to your common room as quickly as you can. Keep collecting the beans, Harry. They'll come in very useful at Hogwarts, won't they, Fred? Be careful, Harry. Filch is not far away. Why don't you come back when you have some Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans? A wizard card!
Chauncey Oldridge. 1342-1379. First known victim of dragonpox. Watch out you aren't seen by a prefect, Harry. I'd get back to your common room as quickly as you can. Keep collecting the beans, Harry. They'll come in very useful at Hogwarts, won't they, Fred? Watch out you aren't seen by a prefect, Harry. I'd get back to your common room as quickly as you can. Keep collecting the beans, Harry. They'll come in very useful at Hogwarts, won't they, Fred? You can come back as often as you like, Harry. We'll be here. A wizard card! Jocunda Sykes 1915 to the present Famous for flying across the Atlantic on a broomstick The first person to do so I must be hearing things. I must be hearing things. Okay, Harry. It's been a long day. I'm really tired and I'm off to bed. I'm turning in, Harry. There's nothing more to do. I'm turning in, Harry. There's nothing more to do. I'm turning in, Harry. There's nothing more to do. I'm turning in, Harry. There's nothing more to do. There's nothing more we can do. I'm turning in. There's nothing more we can do. I'm turning in. Blimey! I'm really flipping tired. I bet you are too.
morning, Harry. Do you know what class we've got first? It's potions, Harry. Ron can show you the way. Have you seen this notice board? I'm sure if you can find some of these missing things, you'll be rewarded. Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. Potions next. Better follow Ron. Potions next. Better follow Ron. Spinach flavour? Ugh! Liver? Oh, Sprout! Mmm! Chocolate! Flipendo! Oh, Ugh! Earwax flavour? Big snout. Oh, bogey. Mmm, curry. Spinach flavour. Mmm, marmalade. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm, coffee. Toast! Ugh! Tripe! Mmm! Toast! Ugh! Spinach flavour! Spinach flavour! Booger flavour! Oh, Bogey! Mmm! Curry! Mmm! Coffee! Ugh! Ugh! Lip! Mmm! Marmalade! Mmm! Chocolate! I think Ravenclaw's got the most handsome Quidditch team at Hogwarts. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. My money's on the Chudley Cannons coming bottom of the league again this year. The sorting ceremony song is different every year. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Ah, uh, Potter, anything interesting happened last night? Stink pellets! Ugh! Liver! Dung bombs! A wizard card! Cassandra Vablatsky, 1894-1997, celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. Mmm, coconut. A cauldron cake! 
cake. <laughs> oh, sprout. A wizard card pack. Balfour Blaine. Greta Catchlove. Bertie Bott. Roderick Plumpton. Xavier Rastrick. Balfour Blaine, 1566 to 1629, established the Committee on Experimental Charms. Greta Catchlove, 1960 to the present, author of Charm Your Own Cheese. Bertie Bott, 1935 to the present, inventor of Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. Roderick Plumpton, 1889 to 1987, seeker for England Quidditch team, holds British record for fastest capture of snitch during game, three and a half seconds. Xavier Rastrick, 1750 to 1836, flamboyant wizard entertainer who vanished unexpectedly while tap dancing to a crowd of 300 in Painswick and was never seen again. Yuck! Grass flavour! Oh, Sprout! The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned. The sorting ceremony song is different every year. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned. The sorting ceremony song is different every year. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned. Gregory the Smarmy. Medieval. Dates unknown. Famous originator of Gregory's unctuous unction. Potion to persuade the drinker that the giver is their very best friend. Alleged to have wormed his way into King Richard's confidence and thus made his fortune. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. Nice day for a run across the grounds, eh, Potter? Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. Come on, Harry. It's this way. Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. really ought to go and find Ron.
pumpkin pasty. Ugh! Earwax flavour! Dung bombs! <laughs> A wizard card! Balfour Blaine 1566 to 1629 Established the Committee on Experimental Charms <laughs> Oh, Bogey! flavor Mmm, curry Ugh, tripe Fishy sardine flavour. A wizard card. Paracelsus, fourteen ninety three to fifteen forty one. Renowned physician, alchemist, and surgeon. Oh, bogey. Ugh, tripe. A wizard card pack. Gunhilda of Gorsmore. Gideon Crumb. Gideon Crumb. Mungo Bonham. Oswald Beamish. Gunhilda of Gorsmore, fifteen fifty six to sixteen thirty nine, one eyed, hump backed witch, famous for developing a cure for dragon pox. Gideon Crumb. 1975 to the present, plays bagpipes with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. Mungo Bonham, 1560 to 1659, famous wizard healer, founded St. Mungo's Hospital for Magical Ailments and Injuries. Oswald Beamish, 1850-1932, pioneer of goblin rites.
Yuck! Grass flavour! Artemisia Lufkin, 1754 to 1825, first witch to become Minister for Magic. Coconut. A wizard card! Fulbert the Fearful. 1014 to 1097. Famous for being so cowardly he never ventured out of his house. Died when a defensive charm backfired and the roof fell in. Chocolate. Oh, sprout. A pumpkin pasty. Ugh, tripe. Dung bombs. Revolting! Vomit flavour! Mmm, marmalade. A wizard card! I need to go and find Ron. Ah, uh, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. I think Ravenclaw's got the most handsome Quidditch team at Hogwarts. Ugh! Mmm, toast! Tripe.
pattern cake. Oh, sprout. A wizard card pack. Gulliver Pokeby. Musidora Barkwith. Ethelred the Ever Ready. Gifford Ollerton. Myron Wagtail. Gulliver Pokeby. 1750 to 1839. Expert on magical birds. First to identify meaning of augury song. Musidora Barkwith, 1520-1666, composer of the unfinished Wizarding Suite, which features an exploding tuba. Its performance has been banned since its last performance in 1902, when it blew the roof out of Ackerley Town Hall. Ethelred the Ever Ready, medieval, dates unknown. Famous for taking offence at nothing and cursing innocent bystanders. Died in jail. Gifford Ollerton. 1390 to 1441. Famous giant slayer. Killed the giant Hengist of Upper Barnton. Myron Wagtail, 1970 to the present, lead singer of popular wizarding band The Weird Sisters. Stink pellets! Revolting! Vomit flavour! Mmm, marmalade. A wizard card! Andros the Invincible. Ancient Greek. Alleged to have been the only known wizard to produce a Patronus the size of a giant. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Ah, uh, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? Mmm, peppermint. Flipendo! <laughs> oh, bogey. Mmm. Chocolate. Montague Knightley, fifteen oh six to fifteen eighty eight, Wizard Chess Champion.
chocolate. Mmm, coffee. Glenda Chittuck Jocelyn Wadcock Miranda Goshawk Glenim Stork Celestina Warbeck Glenda Chittuck 1964 to the present Popular presenter of the WWN Wizarding Wireless Network program Witching Hour Jocelyn Wadcock 1911 to the present Chaser for Puddlemere United Quidditch team Record for highest number of goals during British season this century against Ballycastle Bats, 1931. Miranda Goshawk, 1921 to the present, famous spell book writer. Celestina Warbeck, 1917 to the present, popular singing sorceress. Glenim Stork, 1920 to the present, expert on the non-magical and author of many books, including People Who Notice, a study of awareness of magic in the non-magical. Lotta Pinkstone, 1922 to the present, famous campaigner for lifting the International Confederation of Wizards' Statute of Secrecy and telling the non-magical that wizards still exist. Miss Pinkstone has been imprisoned several times for her blatant and deliberate use of magic in public places. Dependo! Fishy! Sardine flavour! Mmm, toast!
way is this way. Flavor. Mmm, toast. Mmm, curry. Booger flavor. A wizard card! Elfrida Clagg, 1612 to 1687, Chieftainess of Warlock's Council. Liver? A pumpkin pasty! Bombs. Stink pellets. A wizard card. Tripe. Ugh! Earwax flavour! Mmm, marmalade. Revolting! Vomit flavour! flavor A wizard card Mmm, 
Mmm, coffee. Fishy! Sardine flavour! Mmm! Chocolate! Mmm! Coffee! Flavor. Dependo! Revolt! Mmm, toast! Mmm, peppermint! A wizard card! Dung bombs. <laughs> Fishy sardine flavor. A pumpkin pasty. Marmalade. A wizard card pack. Merlin. Wendelin the Weird. Glover Hipworth. Alberta Tootill. Hengist of Woodcroft. Merlin. Medieval. Dates unknown. Most famous wizard of all time. Sometimes known as the Prince of Enchanters. Part of the court of King Arthur. Wendelin the Weird. Medieval. Dates unknown. Alleged to have enjoyed being burnt at the stake so much that she allowed herself to be captured fourteen times in various disguises. Glover Hipworth, 1742 to 1805, inventor of the pepper-up potion, cure for the common cold. Hengist of Woodcroft. Medieval. Dates unknown. Driven away from his home by non-magical persecutors, Hengist is supposed to have settled in Scotland, where he founded the village of Hogsmeade. The Three Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be Hengist's old home. Revolting! Vomit flavor! Ugh! Tripe!
Queen Maeve. Medieval, dates unknown. Legendary witch who trained young sorcerers in Ireland prior to the establishment of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. I'm really looking forward to the Quidditch season next term. Ugh! Earwax flavour! Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Why not? Archibald Alderton, 1568-1623, famous for blowing up the hamlet of Little Dropping in Hampshire whilst attempting to magically mix a birthday cake. Booger flavour! The sorting ceremony song is different every year. Did you complete your famous Witches and Wizards card collection yet, Harry? I bet there are some still hiding around Hogwarts. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned. I'm going to try out for the Quidditch team next term. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. Ah, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? I'm going to try out for the Quidditch team next term. Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. Anything interesting happened last night? Ah, oh, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? Oh, bogey. Spinach flavour. Mmm, peppermint. Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has four houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. While you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup. And let me tell you, it's about time Gryffindor won. Please try and remember, only prefects and teachers can award house points. 
and they can also take them away. Come on, Harry. Better get moving. Potions is in the dungeons. We don't want to be late. Come on, Harry. It's this way. Run along, Harry. Run along, Harry. You know, when I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, I just look in my rememberal. You know, when I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, I just look in my rememberal. Did you complete your famous Witches and Wizards card collection, Harry? I bet there's some still hiding around Hogwarts. You know, when I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, I just look in my rememberal. Ah, uh, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Double potions with the Slytherins. Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favours them. We'll be able to see if it's true. It's true then. Harry Potter's come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, and this is Goyle. And my name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair, and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter. You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of potion-making. As there is little foolish wand-waving here, many of you will hardly believe this is magic. I don't expect you will really understand the beauty of this softly simmering cauldron with its shimmering fumes, the delicate power of liquids that creep through human veins, bewitching the mind, ensnaring the senses. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop a death. If you aren't as big a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to teach. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Asphodel, Dittany, Wigan Tree Bark, Failure will be severely punished. The groundskeeper, Hagrid, may be able to help you with the first ingredient. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's Defense Against the Dark Arts with Professor Quirrell next. Class dismissed. Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson.
Class dismissed, Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson. We need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. You need to follow Hermione to defense against the dark arts. I'll meet you inside, Harry. I'll meet you inside, Harry. Come on, Harry. Professor Quirrell's waiting. Herman Wintringham, 1974 to the present, plays lute with the popular wizarding band, The Weird Sisters. Yuck! Grass flavour! Mmm, -hmm. coffee! Mmm, ugh! Mmm, -hmm. coffee! Fishy! Sardine flavour! Ugh! Bogey! Mmm! Toast! Booger flavour! Fishy! Sardine flavour! Ugh! Liver! Revolting! Vomit flavour! Mmm, curry! Oh, Bogey! Fishy! Sardine flavour! Fishy, sardine flavour. Mmm, coconut. Hethcote Barbary, 1974 to the present plays rhythm guitar with the popular wizarding band, The Weird Sisters. Come on, Harry. Professor Quirrell's waiting.
It's defense against the dark arts for the first years, Harry. It's defense against the dark arts for the first years, Harry. Professor Quirrell's waiting. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. It's defence against the dark arts for the first years, Harry. Cornelius Agrippa. Adalbert Waffling. Gifford Ollerton, Jocunda Sykes, Daisy Dodderidge. Cornelius Agrippa, 1486 to 1535, celebrated wizard imprisoned by the non-magical for his writings. Daisy Dodderidge, 1467 to 1555, first landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. <coughs> Harry, this lesson is with Professor Quirrell. I've been really looking forward to it. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Why not? Quang Po, 1443 to 1539, Chinese wizard who discovered the uses of powdered fireball eggs. I think Ravenclaw's got the most handsome Quidditch team at Hogwarts. It's defence against the dark arts for the first years, Harry. It's defence against the dark arts for the first years, Harry. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. 
It's defence against the dark arts for the first years, Harry. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. It's defence against the dark arts for the first years, Harry. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. It's defence against the dark arts for the first years, Harry. It's defence against the dark arts for the first years, Harry. The sorting ceremony song is different every year. Come on, Harry. Professor Quirrell's waiting. Good day, class. Today we are going to have a most illuminating experience when we l learn the wand lighting spell, Lumos. Not only can this light be used to illuminate dark areas, b b but it is also used to reveal s secrets. Lumos is also a useful spell to use against spectral beasts, such as guy trashes and g g ghosts, provided you b bathe them in the light from your wand. To learn the spell, you, you must each enter the spell challenge. N n Neville, how about you first? <laughs> Potter, your turn. The Lumos spell book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Find it and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. That's a challenge shield, Mr. Potter. You need to collect them all for the highest grade. A pumpkin pasty! 
Pumpkin pasty. Pumpkin pasty. Mmm, marmalade. Booger flavour. A pumpkin pasty.
own shield. A wizard card! Uric the Oddball. Medieval, dates unknown. Highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among other things, for wearing a jellyfish for a hat.
Talon Shield. Wow! The Lumos spell! Maybe I could use this to find my way out. flavor a pumpkin pasty a wizard card Dimpfner Firmage, 1612 to 1698. Famously abducted by pixies while on holiday in Cornwall and lived in mortal dread of them thereafter. Failed to persuade the Ministry of Magic to have all pixies humanely destroyed.
fucking cake. A pumpkin pasty. A challenge shield. Shield. New moss. Cake. Shield. A cauldron cake. shield.
G -g good one, Harry. I'll g give that a b, -b, b. That's all for t -t today. Class dismissed. Mr. P Potter, you should be at your f flying lesson now. Flying c class next, P Potter. Flying c class next, P Potter. Flying next, Harry. Follow Ron. Flying next, Harry. Follow Ron. Why don't you go and talk to someone who likes you? Think you've got the house cup in the bag, eh, Potter? Make sure your head doesn't swell too much. That scar would look even more repulsive than it does now. Think you've got the house cup in the bag, eh, Potter? Flipendo! Make sure your head doesn't swell too much. That scar would look even more repulsive than it does now. Why don't you go and talk to someone who likes you? I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. Flying doors are off. Let's go on to the pitch. Flying lesson with Hooch next, Harry. I'll meet you outside the flying pitch.
flying lesson with Hooch next, Harry. I'll meet you outside the flying pitch. Haven't first year Gryffindors got a flying lesson next Potter? Haven't first year Gryffindors got a flying lesson next Potter? I can't wait to try out a broomstick! Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Madam Hooch. Hooch. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to their broomsticks. You see before you a course comprising enchanted rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin! Right. Now for the examination, where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. That's a, an outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. If you want to practice flying, Mr. Potter, come over here. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've earned your house a few points there. Longbottom, your turn. Whoa! Ah! Oh! Mi Mr. 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 Longbottom. Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Come on now, it's all right, up you get. None of you are to move while I take this boy to the hospital wing. Come on, dear.
Did you see his face? Maybe if the fat lump had given this a squeeze, he would have remembered to fall on his fat backside. Give it here, Malfoy. No. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to find. How about on the roof? What's the matter, Potter? Bit beyond your reach? Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. Can't you fly that broom, Potter? Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. What are you waiting for, Potter? Give up now if you're afraid. Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. What's up, Potter? Too slow to catch me? Can't you fly that broom, Potter? What's up, Potter? Too slow to catch me? Don't think this is the last of it, Potter. I'd take you on any time on my own. Tonight, if you want. Wizard's Jewel? What's the matter? Never heard of a wizard's jewel? Of course he has. I'm his second. Meet me tonight on the fourth floor. Wands only. No contact. Dear Harry, would you like to come and have a cup of tea with me this afternoon? I want to hear all about your first day, Hagrid. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Come on, Harry, follow me. Harry? Hurry up, Harry!
Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Make yourselves at home. This is Ron. Another Weasley, eh? <laughs> I spent half my life chasing your twin brothers away from the forest. Hey Ron, somebody broke into Gringotts. Listen, believed to be the work of dark wizards or witches unknown, Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, insist nothing was taken. The vault in question, number 713, had been emptied earlier that very same day. That's odd. That's the vault that Hagrid and I went to. Hagrid, I need to collect some ingredients for potions class. Do you know a good place to find plants in the school grounds? I have a lot of strange things growing out near my garden. You're welcome to go take a look. Be careful, mind. Wouldn't go wandering round at night. Then again, there are some pretty fearful things round here during the day. There you go. Be careful, Harry. cake. There must be a door around here somewhere. Maybe I should try using the Lumos spell. Merwin the Malicious. Medieval. Dates unknown. Credited with the invention of many unpleasant jinxes and hexes.
cauldron cake. A wizard card! Burdock Muldoon, 1429 to 1490, Chief of Wizards Council, 1448 to 50.
Wizard card! Morgan Le Fay. Medieval. Dates unknown. King Arthur's half-sister. Dark sorceress. Enemy of Merlin. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed. There's nothing more we can do. I'm for bed. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed. Great! A copy of Magical Theory by Adelwood Waffling. Now I just need to return it to the common room. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed.
There's nothing more we can do. I'm for bed. People only die in proper jewels. You know, with real wizards. The most human Malfoy will be able to do is send sparks at each other. Neither of you knows enough magic to do any real damage. I bet he expected you to refuse anyway. If he tries to curse you, you'd better dodge it. Because I can't remember how to block them. Half past eleven, we'd better go. I can't believe you're going to do this, Harry. You? Go back to bed. Come on. Thanks very much for getting the magical theory book, Harry. Have a wizard card. Mopsus. Ancient Greek. Soothsayer who vanquished the seer Calchas in a contest of their powers. What was that? Hey! Pig snout. Watch out you aren't seen by a prefect, Harry. I'd get back to your common room as quickly as you can. How much is the Edgar Strulger card? It'll cost 30 beans. Edgar Strulger. 1703 to 1798. Inventor of the sneaker scope. The limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? It'll cost 50 beans. Bertie Bott, 1935 to the present, inventor of Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. Albert, grab
Onion, the inventor of the dung bomb. How much is that? It'll cost 30 beans. Albrick Grunion, 1803 to 1882, inventor of the dung bomb. How much is a pack of stink pellets? It'll cost 20 beans. Stink pellets are a great way to stop prefects catching you. But I didn't tell you that, did I? Dung bombs! Why don't you come back when you have some Bertie Bots every flavour beans? Anything else? Be careful, Harry. Filch is not far away. Don't you care about Gryffindor? Do you only care about yourselves? I don't want Slytherin to win the House Cup. And you'll lose all the points I got from Professor McGonagall for knowing about switching spells. Go away! All right, but I warned you. You just remember what I said when you're on the train home tomorrow. You're so... Now what am I going to do? That's your problem. We've got to go. We're going to be late. I'm coming with you. Come on, Harry! We have to get moving! Follow me to the fourth floor! You should be careful sneaking around at night, Harry. You could get caught. I hope we don't run into any teachers. I wouldn't be doing this if the fat lady hadn't disappeared. I can't believe you're both going to do this. We'd better go before someone catches us. I can't believe you're both going to do this. I wouldn't be doing this if the fat lady hadn't disappeared. Harry, hurry up! Malfoy will be smirking on the other side of his face after this. Come on, Harry, hurry up! We'd better go before someone catches us. We'd better go before someone catches us.
We'd better go before someone catches us. if the fat lady hadn't disappeared. Over here, Potter! Brought reinforcements, have you? Good. They can watch you lose. Follow me and let's finish this. Huh? Bye-bye, Gryffindor. Ha ha ha! Looks like you've fallen into the Forbidden Corridor. It's a good job I let Professor Snape know. He'll be there any second now. Bye-bye. Malfoy! There's only one way out of here and it's locked. Do you know any spells that can unlock it? Well, as it happens, I do. It's the Alahomora unlocking spell. But I don't actually know how to cast it. However, I do remember reading somewhere that the Alahomora spellbook is kept in the library. I've heard there's a shortcut to the library down that corridor. You're going to have to find the Alahomora spellbook, Harry. Then come back here and get us out! Be careful, Harry. Be careful, Harry. I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry. I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry. We'll wait here for you while you go in. We'll wait here for you while you go in. I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry. Be careful, Harry. Flavor. Ugh! Earwax flavor. Ugh! Tripe. Yuck! Grass flavor. Ugh! Spinach flavor. Oh! 
Oh, revolting! Vomit flavour! Revolting! Vomit flavour! Ignatia Wildsmith, 1227 to 1320, the witch who invented flu powder. flavor. The Alohomora Spellbook. Come <laughs> on. 
A wizard card! Godric Gryffindor Medieval, dates unknown, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. A wizard card! Orsino Thruston, 1976 to the present, plays drums with the popular wizarding band The Weird Sisters. This is it! We're done for! This is the end! Harry! Are you alright? Thank goodness that's over with! It isn't over yet! We still have to get back to the Gryffindor common room! Cast Alahamora at the door and it will open up! I hope we don't run into any teachers! Come on, Harry! Hurry up! Come on, Harry! Hurry up! Hurry up, Harry! Hurry up, Harry! Hurry up, Harry! Hello, Amora! <laughs> Harry? We'd better go before someone catches us. This way. Through this door, Harry. Come on, Harry. Hurry up. Hurry up, Harry. Quick! In here! That was close. Ron, what are you... Sorry, Harry. I meant this door. Hurry up, Harry! I hope we don't run into any teachers. Come 
on, Harry. Hurry up! Harry? Hello, Amora! Wizard card. Password. Hurry up. Password. Put Draconis. I'm turning in, Harry. There's nothing more to do. Do you ever sleep, Harry? Do you ever sleep, Harry? Do you ever sleep, Harry? Don't know about you, but I'm so tired. There's nothing more we can do. I'm turning in. Keeping a thing like that locked up in a school? If any dog needs exercise, that one does. You don't use your eyes, any of you, do you? Didn't you see what it was standing on? The floor? I wasn't looking at its feet. I was too busy with its heads. No, not the floor. It was standing on a trap door. It's obviously guarding something. What could possibly need such heavy protection? It's either really valuable or really dangerous. Or both. Well, it's going to have to wait. We're going to be late for charms class. Follow me, Harry. Revolting! Vomit flavour! Mmm, coffee! Come on, Harry, follow me! Harry, Professor Flitwick's waiting. Let's go to Charms, Harry. Come on, Harry, Professor Flitwick's waiting. Follow Ron to Charms class, Harry. 
Follow Ron to charms class, Harry. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Sure. Yardley Platt, 1446 to 1557, serial goblin killer. Let's go to Charms, Harry. Let's go to Charms, Harry. Come on, Harry. Professor Flitwick's waiting. Follow Ron to charms class, Harry. Mmm, toast! I think Flitwick's teaching us Spongify this morning, Harry. Let's go in. Follow Ron to charms class, Harry. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve learning how to cast the softening charm, Spongify. Once you have managed to collect the Spongify spellbook, the Spongify charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Card pack Elfrida Clagg Derwent Shimpling
Roland Kegg, Dorcas Wellbeloved, Xavier Rastrick, Derwent Shimpling, 1912 to the present, ate an entire venomous tentacular for a bet and survived, though is still purple. Dorcas Wellbeloved, 1812 to 1904, founder of the Society for Distressed Witches. Roland Kegg, 1903 to the present, president of English Gobstones team. Spongify Spellbook! A pumpkin pasty. Flavor. Bungie! 
Electrify! Wahey! <clears throat> A challenge shield!
Magify! A challenge shield! A wizard card! Cake. Chocolate. Yuck! Revolting! Spinach flavor. Oh! Sprout! Dependo! Dependo!
Talon Shield. A wizard card. A wizard card! Mirabella Plunkett 1839 to unknown date Famous for falling in love with a merman in Loch Lomond while on holiday. When her parents forbade her to marry him, she transfigured herself into a haddock and was never seen again. Flavor. Lumos. Chocolate. Mmm, coffee. Nintendo. Mmm, revolt. Mmm, curry. Pumpkin pasty. Shield. 
Dependo! 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 Cake. flavor Good effort. I'll give you a B. I have a message from Professor Snape. He wants to remind you all that your next potions lesson is coming up shortly, and there will be house points deducted if any of you forget your ingredients. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Yes, Mr. Potter? The Spongify charm is most useful for hard-to-reach areas. Yes, Mr. Potter? Shouldn't you be elsewhere, Mr. Potter? The Spongify charm is most useful for hard-to-reach areas. Dependo! Mmm, marmalade. Bogey! Yes, Mr. Potter? Mmm, 
Mmm, coffee. Oh, sprout. Dependo. A wizard card! Circe Ancient Greek Lived on the island of Aea Expert at turning lost sailors into pigs Yes, Mr. Potter? The Spongify charm is most useful for hard-to-reach areas. The Spongify charm is most useful for hard-to-reach areas. Harry, you heard what Professor Flitwick said. We'd better get those ingredients of potions. Professor Snape, he doesn't want to teach potions. Everyone knows he's after Quirrell's job. Knows an awful lot about the dark art, Snape. I'll meet you at Hagrid's. Let's go to Hagrid's, Harry. Better get to Hagrid's, Harry. Let's go to Hagrid's, Harry. Let's go to Hagrid's, Harry. Nice day for a run across the grounds, eh, Potter? The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. Alohomora! The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Mr. Potter, tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of Wormwood. 
I don't know, sir. Pity. Clearly fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. Potter? I do hope you managed to collect the ingredients I asked you for. I'd hate to have to deduct house points. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Yep. Salazar Slytherin. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson. Got those ingredients yet, Potter? Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson. Better get to Hagrid's, Harry. Got those ingredients yet, Potter? Hagrid, you know all about magical creatures. Do you know anything about that dog on the third floor? How do you know about Fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, he's mine. Bought him off a Greek chappy I met in the pub last year. I lent him to Dumbledore to guard the... Yes? Um, never mind. That's top secret, that is. You forget that dog, and you forget what is guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel? Why does that name sound familiar? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I think you'd better get your ingredients before it gets dark. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed. Flavor. Mmm, coffee. Mmm, coffee. Spinach flavor. Mmm, peppermint. Oh, bogey. 
Mmm, marmalade. Mmm, toast! Booger flavour! Flipendo! Yuck! Ugh! Rim! Mmm, coconut! Mmm, coconut! A cauldron cake! Doxies! Lots of them! Flipendo! 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 Fungify! Old truckles, they're bound to be guarding the Wigan tree bark. Nintendo! Spongy 
Sardine flavour. Spinach flavour. Dependo! 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 Pumpkin pasty. Spongify. There's nothing more we can do. I'm for bed. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Yep. Crispin Cronk, 1795 to 1872, sent to Azkaban for continuing to keep sphinxes in his back garden despite repeated warnings. <coughs>
Hmm. That copy of A Beginner's Guide to Transfiguration I was looking for. Now I just need to return it to the common room. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed. There's nothing more we can do. I'm for bed. Harry, the Halloween feast is about to begin. Let's get to the Great Hall. Thanks for finding a beginner's guide to transfiguration, Harry. Here's a wizard card. Bowman Wright. 1492 to 1560, 
famous for developing the golden snitch. Harry, it's this way. Get a move on, Harry. Get a move on, Harry. Where's Hermione? Pavati Patel said she wouldn't come out of the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She said that she's been in there all afternoon crying. Troll! In the dungeon! Troll! In the dungeon! I thought you wanted to know. Silence. Everyone will please not panic. Prefects will lead their house back to the dormitories. Teachers will follow me to the dungeons. I've just thought. Hermione, what's about her? She doesn't know about the troll. Harry, hurry up! We've got to find Hermione, Harry. We've got to find Hermione, Harry. Come on, Harry, hurry up! Come on, Harry, hurry up! We've got to find Hermione, Harry. How could a troll get in? Don't ask me. They're supposed to be really stupid. Can you smell something? I think the troll's left the dungeon. It's in the girls' bathroom! Ah! Hermione! We've got to find Hermione, Harry. Find 
Hermione, Hermione, Harry. <laughs> Harry, try and get the trolley to Spongify Child. Its club will bounce back and it will hit itself on the head. and try and get it to hit you. symbol you could stun it Harry if you manage to get the troll to hit that spongy fire symbol it will be stunned but only if you get out the way at the last minute Spongify symbols, Harry! to hit that spongy fire symbol, it will be stunned, but only if you get out the way at the last minute. on a spongy fire symbol when the troll is near and try to get it to hit you.
to finish it off. Is it dead? I don't think so. Just knocked out. Wicked! A wizard card! Glanmore Peaks, 1677 to 1761. Famous slayer of the sea serpent of Cromer. Spongify! <sighs> Dung bombs! Cake. Spongify. A wizard card! Curly Duke 1971 to the present Plays lead guitar with the popular wizarding band The Weird Sisters A pumpkin pasty. <laughs> Dung bombs. Spongify!
That was close. That was close. That was close. Oh my goodness. Explain yourselves, both of you. Well, what it is? It's my fault, Professor McGonagall. Miss Granger. I went looking for the troll. I read about them and thought I could handle it. But I was wrong. If Harry and Ron hadn't come and found me, I'd probably be dead. Be that as it may, it was an extremely foolish thing to do. I would have expected more rational behaviour on your part, and I am very disappointed in you, Miss Granger. Five points will be taken from Gryffindor for your serious lack of judgement. As for you two gentlemen, I just hope you realise how fortunate you are. Not many first-year students could take on a fully-grown mountain troll and live to tell the tale. Five points will be awarded to each of you for sheer dumb luck. Perhaps you ought to, to go. It might wake up. Good of her to get us out of trouble like that. Mind you, we did save her from a full-grown mountain troll. Thanks. What are friends for? That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. was close. That was close. Hermione, do you know what lesson we've got first thing? It's potions, Harry. We've got to learn how to mix the Wigan World potion. I hope you've collected all of the ingredients. Follow me, Harry. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Sure. Beatrix Bloxham, 1794 to 1810, author of The Toadstool Tales, a series of children's books since banned because they have been found to cause nausea and vomiting.
A wizard card! Password? Mmm, chocolate. Password? Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? A troll! How on earth did that get in? Troll? How on earth did that get in? A troll? How on earth did that get in? Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? I can't believe there was a troll in the school! next better follow Hermione come on Harry hurry up come on Harry hurry up come on Harry hurry up you have collected all the required ingredients for the Wigan weld potion the Wigan weld potion is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Potter, where would you look if I told you to find me a bazaar? I don't know, sir. Thought you wouldn't open a book before coming, eh, Potter? For your information, Potter, 
A bizarre is a stone taken from the stomach of a goat, and it will save you from most poisons. A less powerful version of this is today's lesson, the antidote for common poisons. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients, flubberworm mucus, pufferpod spores, and moondew. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson. Class dismissed, Mr. Potter. It's Abology next, Harry. Abology Greenhouse 1 is outside in the grounds. Follow Ron, Harry. He'll take you to Herbology class. Follow Ron, Harry. He'll take you to Herbology class. Follow Ron, Harry. He'll take you to Herbology class. Get a move on, Harry. Come on, Harry. Hurry up! Come on, Harry! Hurry up! I've heard that this herbology lesson is really scary. I've heard that this herbology lesson is really scary. Second year told me there was a venomous tentacular in this lesson. They're supposed to be poisonous. I've heard that this herbology lesson is really scary. Second year told me there was a venomous tentacular in this lesson. They're supposed to be poisonous. Come on, Harry. Hurry up. Come on, Harry. Professor Sprout's waiting for us inside. I've heard we have to watch out for the venomous tentacular. Ugh! Want to trade a wizard card, Harry?
Today's lesson will involve learning how to cast a severing charm. The proper incantation for this charm is Defindo. You will see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Defindo challenge. Mr. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. The Defindo spell book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you have managed to collect it, the Defindo charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do you understand, Mr. Potter? I know how to defeat you. What a nice out of my hand for one. Spongify! Flavor. A challenge shield. A cauldron cake. Mmm, uh, coconut. Flavor. Flavor, spinach flavor, Nintendo. <laughs> Ugh, 
tripe. Fishy, sardine flavour. Mmm, curry. Ugh, earwax flavour. Mmm, marmalade. A challenge shield. Mmm, peppermint. Spinach flavour. A pumpkin pasty. Am I going to get past these? Nintendo! The Defindo spell book. Ow! 
Defendo! Wizard card! Mmm, -hmm. coffee. Booger flavour. Rim, mmm, marmalade. A wizard card! Newt Scamander, 1897 to the present. Celebrated author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Cool! An owl treat! Shield. Riv, yuck! Ugh! Earwax flavour! Booger flavour! Mmm, marmalade! Spinach flavour! Defendo! 
Defendo! Defendo! Defendo! Defendo! Defendo! Defendo! A cauldron cake! Shield. Almeric Sawbridge, 1602 to 1699, famous for conquering the river troll that was terrorising those trying to cross the Wye River. River troll in question believed to be one of the largest ever to exist in Britain, with a weight of one tonne. Thaddeus Thurkle, 1632 to 1692, famous for producing seven squib sons and turning them all into hedgehogs in disgust.
Nintendo! A pumpkin pasty! A challenge shield! Shield. Mr. Potter, you have successfully learnt the Defindo charm. However, you do not yet have the required skills to take on a fully grown venomous tentacular. 
It is a fearsome thing, and its bite is quite poisonous. Please follow me. Done. That effort deserves an A. That is all for today. Class dismissed. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. Dragon hide gloves. Just what I was looking for.
Happy Christmas! You too? Will you look at this? I've got some presents. What did you expect? Turnips? If that's what I think it is, they're really rare and really valuable. What is it? It's an invisibility cloak. I'm sure it is. Look, Hedbig is back. She has a message from Hermione. Read it, Harry. Merry Christmas, Harry. Merry Christmas, Ron. Ever since Hagrid mentioned Nicholas Flamel, I've been trying to find out who he is. I've been wondering for a while if information about Flamel isn't somewhere in the restricted section of the library. Unfortunately, you need a specially signed note from one of the teachers to look in any of the restricted books, and I know you'll never get one. I think there's a book called A Study of Recent Developments in Wizardry in there that might give us a clue to who he is. You will keep looking while I'm away, won't you? And send me an owl if you find anything. See you soon, Hermione. A pumpkin pasty! Thanks, Harry, for getting the dragon hide gloves. Have a wizard card. Ethelred the Ever Ready. Medieval. Dates unknown. Famous for taking offence at nothing and cursing innocent bystanders. Died in jail. Harry, Hermione said we need to find that book, a study of recent developments in wizardry, in the restricted section of the library. I've heard there are books in the restricted section containing powerful dark magic never taught at Hogwarts. Come here! Come here! Hey! Pig Snout! Hey! Dung Bombs! Yuck! Grass flavour! A wizard card! Gwenog Jones 1968 to the present Captain and beater of only all-female national Quidditch team, the Holyhead Harpies. Dung bombs! Dung 
bombs. Stink pellets. Mmm, peppermint. A pumpkin pasty. Anything else? Keep collecting the beans, Harry. They'll come in very useful at Hogwarts, won't they, Fred? Anything else? Watch out you aren't seen by a prefect, Harry. I'd get back to your common room as quickly as you can. Be careful, Harry. Filch is not far away. You need to go to the second floor to get that book, Harry. You'll need to get into the restricted section. Go down to the second floor and just past the entrance to the library. Come on, Harry. Hurry up! You'll need to get into the restricted section. Go down to the second floor and just past the entrance to the library. You need to go to the second floor to get that book, Harry. Come on, Harry. Hurry up! Harry, the book we're looking for is usually only read by older students studying advanced defense against the dark art. I hope Madame Pince isn't in the library. Maybe you should try out the cloak. You'll be able to go in the restricted section without being seen. I'll meet you in the common room later. What on earth was that? What's going on here?
was that noise? What's going on here? Coconut. Mmm, coffee. Perpetua Fan Court, 1900 to 1991. Which who invented the lunoscope?
Dependo! Pumpkin pasty. A pumpkin pasty. Right. Second floor, reading room, past the library and into the annex, through portrait. Got it. Who's there? Spike! 
Fungify! <sighs> Stink pellets! A pumpkin pasty. A pumpkin pasty. There's someone down here. There's someone round here.
There's someone round here. Pumpkin pasty. What on earth was that? Who's in here? I must have been hearing things. What was that? Whoever's out there, I'll find you. Hmm. I'm sure I heard someone sneaking around here. Someone down here. Fishy! Sardine flavour! What? Wondering around at midnight, you go thirsty? Tut, tut, tut! Naughty, naughty! You'll get caught in. What's that you got there, Potter? Please, please. Let me see it. Give it here. It doesn't belong to you.
Dad! So, you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the Mirror of Erised. I didn't know it was called that, sir. Can you think what the Mirror of Erised shows us all? It, well, it shows me my family. Let me give you a clue. The happiest man on Earth would look into the mirror and see only himself exactly as he is. So then, it shows us what we want. Whatever we want. Yes, and no. It shows us nothing more or less than the deepest and most desperate desires of our hearts. You, Harry, you have never known your family. You see them standing beside you. But remember this, Harry. This mirror gives us neither knowledge nor truth. Men have wasted away in front of it, even gone mad. That is why tomorrow it will be moved to a new home. And I must ask you not to go looking for it again. It does not do to dwell on dreams, Harry, and forget to live. I think I should take this for now, lest it get you into trouble. Now, why don't you get off to bed? A wizard card! Password? Kaput. <laughs> 
Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. There's nothing more we can do. I'm turning in. Blimey! I'm really flipping tired. I bet you are too. I can't believe you two! If Filch had caught you! I checked that copy of A Study of Recent Developments in Wizardry you found in the Restricted section. No mention of Nicholas Flamel. Shame about not finding him. Have some bacon or something! Why aren't you eating anything? It's charms class next. I've heard we're learning the Incendio charm. I'm sure I've read Flamel's name somewhere. A bit early for mail, isn't it? But I never get mail. Let's open it. It's a broomstick. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a Nimbus 2000. But who? You'll be able to fly anywhere around the grounds, but try not to crash into too many of the towers. Harry, Charms class is on the second floor. I'll meet you there. I'm going to check another book later. Notable magical names of our time. Might have some mention of Flamel. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Yeah! Sasharissa Tugwood, 1874 to 1966, pioneer of beautifying potions, discovered pimple-curing properties of bubotuba pus. Professor Flitwick's waiting. I 
think Flitwick's teaching us incendio this morning, Harry. Let's go in. I think Flitwick's teaching us incendio this morning, Harry. Let's go in. Chocolate. Mmm. -hmm. Coffee. I think Flitwick's teaching us incendio this morning, Harry. Let's go in. Please find a seat, students. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve learning how to cast the appositely named Bluebell Flames. The proper incantation for this charm is Incendio. Once you have managed to collect the Incendio spellbook, the Incendio charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. In here, Harry. Shield. Pretendo! Pretendo! Pretendo!
shield. A challenge shield. Wizard card! Pumpkin pasty. Cool, an owl treat.
beautiful! Spongify! A challenge shield! A cauldron cake! Beaumont Marjorie Banks, 1742 to 1845, pioneer of herbology and collector of many rare and magical flowers, discovered gillyweed. Defendo! 
shield. A pumpkin pasty. Bridget Wenlock Ethelred the Ever-Ready Gregory the Smarmy Queen Maeve Helga Hufflepuff Bridget Wenlock 1202 to 1285, famous arithmancer, first to establish the magical properties of the number seven. Helga Hufflepuff, medieval. Dates unknown, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses.
Talon Shield. What's it? The Incendio Spellbook! Shield. A challenge shield. A pumpkin pasty. cake a pumpkin pasty a cauldron cake a challenge shield A wizard card!
An outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. Yes, Mr. Potter? The incendio charm can light certain braziers to reveal secrets. Yes, Mr. Potter? Harry! Harry! What's up? It's Neville. You've got to come to the common room quickly. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned. Ah, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know.
password? Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. What happened? Leglock a curse. Malfoy. I met him outside the library. He said he'd been looking for someone to practice that on. You're worth 12 of Malfoy. The sorting hat chose you for Gryffindor, didn't it? And where's Malfoy? His stinking Slytherin. Thanks, Harry. I think I'll go to bed. Do you want the card? You collect them, don't you? <gasps> I found him. I found Flamel. Listen to this. Dumbledore is particularly famous for his defeat of the dark wizard Grindelwald in 1945, the discovery of the 12 uses of dragon's blood, and his work on alchemy with his partner, Nicholas Flamel. I knew the name sounded familiar. Albus Dumbledore. Currently, Headmaster of Hogwarts. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. You know, when I forget what I'm supposed to be doing, I just look in my remember -all. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. There's nothing more we can do. I'm for bed. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed. There's nothing more we can do. I'm for bed. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed. Oh, but it's really great being famous. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Yeah. Cyprian Udall, 1312 to 1357. Only Quidditch referee ever to be killed during a match. The originator of the curse was never caught, but believed to have been a member of the crowd. Havelock Sweeting. 1634 to 1710. Unicorn expert. Helped set up unicorn reservations throughout Britain. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned.
Oh, you must be worn out, Harry. I know I am. I think Ravenclaw's got the most handsome Quidditch team at Hogwarts. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Spinach flavour? Incendio! Incendio! A wizard card! Justus Pillywickle, 1862 to 1953. Celebrated head of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. Shield. A cauldron cake. A pumpkin pasty. Shield.
Hang on. Shield. A pumpkin pasty. Cake. Cool, an owl treat. A pumpkin pasty. A pumpkin pasty.
children cake. Shield. A cauldron cake. A pumpkin pasty. Shield. Shield. A cauldron cake.
Talon Shield. Booga flavor. Fishy. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, earwax flavor. Uh, earwax flavor. Lumos. An outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You received the highest grade and d distinction. Well done. Definite improvement, Potter. C good work. Sardine flavour. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm, toast. Mmm, curry. Booger flavour. Ugh, liver. Ugh, earwax flavour. I'm so exhausted. I feel like I should go into hibernation for the rest of the year. Crab and Goyle are the ugliest people I've ever seen. I'm so exhausted. I feel like I should go into hibernation for the rest of the year. Mmm, toast. Mmm, coffee. Mmm, chocolate. Lumos! A wizard card pack! Merlin. Almeric Sawbridge, Cassandra Vablatsky, Oswald Beamish, Hengist of Woodcroft,
A wizard card! Gaspard Shingleton, 1959 to the present, celebrated inventor of the self-stirring cauldron. Hesper Starkey, 1881 to 1973, witch who studied the use of phases of the moon in potion making. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Yep. Rogan Stump, 1770 to 1884, popular Minister for Magic, appointed 1811. Rowena Ravenclaw, medieval, dates unknown, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Cliodney. Medieval, dates unknown. Irish druidess who discovered properties of moon dew. Why not?
Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Shouldn't you be elsewhere, Mr. Potter? The Spongify charm is most useful for hard-to-reach areas. Yes, Mr. Potter? Shouldn't you be elsewhere, Mr. Potter? Yes, Mr. Potter? Shield. A pumpkin pasty. Shield. A pumpkin pasty. Shield.
Spongify! Shield. A cauldron cake.
Dependo! Pumpkin pasty. <laughs> A challenge shield. <laughs> Defendo. Spongify. A wizard card! shield. Flavor. Incendio. Incendio.
talon shield. Shield. A wizard card. A cauldron cake. Pumpkin pasty. A challenge shield. Pretendo. Cake.
An outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. Definite improvement, Potter. Good work. Yes, Mr. Potter? Oh, you must be worn out, Harry. I know I am. Flavor. Defendo! A wizard card! Merton Graves 1978 to the present, plays cello with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. I don't like Quidditch. It's too fast to follow. Professor Snape's potion class smells worse than a dung bomb. A wizard card! Ugh. Ugh. 
tripe. So you're the famous Harry Potter. Pleased to meet you. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. Oh, you must be worn out, Harry. I know I am. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Why not? Lord Stoddard Withers, 1672 to 1769, breeder of flying horses. Balfour Blaine. Elodora Ketteridge, 1656 to 1729, witch who discovered the use of gillyweed when she nearly suffocated after eating it and recovered only when she stuck her head into a bucket of water. Donoghan Tremlett, 1972 to the present day, bass player with the popular wizarding band The Weird Sisters.
lost telescope. I bet someone needs this for their astronomy lesson. shield a cauldron cake a wizard card pack derwent shimpling Gondoline Oliphant Helga Hufflepuff Dorcas Wellbeloved Dimpfner Firmage Gondoline Oliphant 1720 to 1799, famous for studies of life and habits of trolls, clubbed to death in the Cotswolds while sketching. A 
pumpkin pasty. I know so how to defeat fine. these. Who would like to take money from one? <laughs> shield. Pumpkin pasty. Am I going to get past these? A challenge shield. <laughs> I need to find something to squash them.
Shield.
pumpkin pasty. A challenge shield. A challenge shield. Mr. Potter, you receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. Definite improvement, Potter. Good work.
cake. A pumpkin pasty. Revolting! A wizard card! I need to find somewhere to put these gnomes!
A wizard card! Honoria Nutcombe 1665-1743 Founded the Society for the Reformation of Hags A wizard card! Sasharissa Tugwood, 1874 to 1966, pioneer of beautifying potions, discovered pimple-curing properties of bubotuba pus. <coughs>
Dependo! 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 This must be a flobber worm. Now how do I get the mucus? Looks like the shape of a flubber worm.
sake. A wizard card pack! Circe Salazar Slytherin Musidora Barkwith Bertie Bott Roland Kegg A wizard card pack! Donaghan Tremlett Crispin Cronk Dunbar Oglethorpe Miranda Goshawk Bertie Bott Dunbar Oglethorpe, 1968 to the present. Chief of Quobble, Quidditch Union for the Administration and Betterment of the British League and its Endeavours. Hilda of Gorsmore Flavius Belby Kwong Po Sasharissa Tugwood Yardley Platt
Flavius Belby. 1715 to 1791. Only wizard ever to survive a lethifold attack. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. Password? Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Yep. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Yeah. Laverne de Montmorency, 1823 to 1893, inventor of many love potions. Leopoldina Smethick, 1829 to 1910, first British witch to referee a Quidditch match.
Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Albus Dumbledore, currently headmaster of Hogwarts. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Big snout. Mmm, mm. coffee. Mm. Fishy. Uh, fishy. Mmm, oh. sprout. Mmm, coconut. Fish poo. Ugh, liver. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Thanks very much for finding the telescope, Harry. Have a wizard card. Hengist of Woodcroft. Medieval, dates unknown. Driven away from his home by non-magical persecutors, Hengist is supposed to have settled in Scotland, where he founded the village of Hogsmeade. The Three Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be Hengist's old home. Oh, but it's really great being famous. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed. Fishy! Spinach flavour! Mmm, curry. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Dear Harry, I heard Professor Snape ask you to find some moon dew for your potions class. I can't believe he would ask such a thing. 
Moon dew only comes out at night and it's found deeper into the forbidden forest and is safe for a first year to go. Meet me in my garden tonight and I'll take you to where it grows. That way you'll be safe. Hagrid. Be careful, Harry. Be careful, Harry. Going out at night is dangerous. Better get to Hagrid's, Harry. Better get to Hagrid's, Harry. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Be careful, Harry. Locomotor Mortis! What's going on here? Hey, you!
Neville's toad. He'll be happy to see Trevor again. Is that you, Harry? Hurry up. I want to get started. Right then. Now, listen carefully, because it's dangerous what we're going to do tonight, and I don't want no one taking risks. There's a unicorn in there being hurt badly by Summit. It's the second time in a week. I found one dead last Wednesday. Could a werewolf be killing the unicorns? Not fast enough. It's not easy to catch a unicorn. They're powerful magic creatures. To be hurt before. And what if whatever hurt the unicorn finds us first? There's nothing that lives in the forest that'll hurt you if you're with me. Right then. Follow me. Stay close, Harry. Hey, Harry. It's pretty dark in parts of my garden. Lumos might come in handy. Keep your eyes peeled, Harry. Don't know what you'll find wandering in here at night. Hey, Harry. It's pretty dark in parts of my garden. Lumos might come in handy. A wizard card! Chocolate. You want to be careful out here, Harry. Guy trashes sometimes roam the grounds at night. Big, horrible dog spirits. You'd better have your Lumos spell handy to scare them off. Keep your eyes peeled, Harry. Don't know what you'll find wandering in here at night. Stay close, Harry. You want to be careful out here, Harry. Guy trashes sometimes roam the grounds at night. Big, horrible dog spirits. You'd better have your Lumos spell handy to scare them off. Keep your eyes peeled, Harry. Don't know what you'll find wandering in here at night. Hey, Harry! It's pretty dark in parts of my garden. Lumos might come in handy. Ugh! Mmm, chocolate.
Defendo! Vomit flavour! Oh, mmm, curry! Fishy! Sardine flavour! Mmm, curry! Mmm, curry! Sardine flavour. A wizard card. You all right there, Harry? The, the unicorn's dead, Hagrid. It's in that clearing back there. What was that thing? A monstrous creature. It is a terrible crime to slay a unicorn. Drinking the blood of a unicorn will keep you alive even if you are an inch from death, but at a terrible price. But you have slain something so pure that from the moment the blood touches your lips, you will have a half-life. Life. But who would choose such a life? 
Can't you think of anyone? Some say he died. Cards wallop, in my opinion. Don't know if he'd enough human left in him to die. Do you mean to say that that thing that killed the unicorn, that was drinking its blood, that was Voldemort? I'm saying nothing. Let's get going. Keep your eyes peeled, Harry. Don't know what you'll find wandering in here at night. But he's weak. He's living off the unicorns. But if he comes back, you don't think he'd try to kill you, do you? I think if he'd have had the chance, he might have tried to kill me last night. And to think, I've been worrying about my potions lesson. We've got to learn how to mix the antidote to common poisons. I hope you've collected all of the ingredients. Thanks for finding Trevor for me, Harry. I really appreciate it. Have a wizard card. Cornelius Agrippa, 1486 to 1535. Celebrated wizard imprisoned by the non-magical for his writings. Marmalade. Spinach flavour. Mmm, chocolate. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. Professor Snape's waiting. Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. Oh, Sprout! Revolting! Vomit flavour!
There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Nice day for a run across the grounds, eh, Potter? Revolting! Vomit flavour! Oh! Sprout! Oh! Sprout! Boo! Mmm! Mmm! Marmalade! Mmm! Mmm! Marmalade! Revolting! Vomit flavour! Mmm! Chocolate! Nintendo! Revolt! Oh! Sprout! Mmm! Marmalade! Mmm! Curry! Spinach flavour! Marmalade. Mmm, marmalade. Spinach flavour. Mmm, curry. A wizard card! A wizard card! Miranda Goshawk 1921 to the present Famous spell book writer Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Don't go to potions if you haven't collected all those ingredients, Harry. Don't go to potions if you haven't collected all those ingredients, Harry. Come on, Harry. Professor Snape's waiting. You have collected all the required ingredients for the antidote to common poisons. The antidote to common poisons is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Quidditch against Slytherin today? Good luck, Potter. Then again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you.
even if it is against my boys. Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson. That was... disturbing. I'll tell you what's disturbing. Snape smiling. Quidditch against Slytherin, eh? It'll really wipe the smiles of their faces if we win. Just as long as we're not wiping you off the field. Come on, Harry. Follow me. Come on, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Come on, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Come on, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Hurry up, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Hurry up, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Hello, Harry. Let's go outside to the Quidditch Stadium. Come on, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Nice day for a run across the grounds, eh, Potter? Hurry up, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Big match against Slytherin today. I'm glad it's you that's doing it. After all that flying about and what we found out last night, I can't think straight.
Hurry up, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Hurry up, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Today, we're going to see Slytherin play Gryffindor in the last match of the year. Lee Jordan here commentating on what might turn out to be the game of the year. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. The two teams are pretty evenly matched, but only one will be the winner today. I'm sure everyone's been looking forward to this match. I know I have. And there's the snitch, and Potter's after it. Potter nudges ahead. Fantastic flying by Potter. Great flying. Just look at Potter go. That's excellent flying by Harry Potter. Oh, nasty. Great skill. Get that tackle from up here. Just look at Potter go. Slytherin will really be kicking themselves after that performance. Harry Potter's flying really well. Awesome flying! Potter's really moving now. Just look at Potter go. Awesome flying! And the Quaffle is passed to Marcus Flint. Potter nudges ahead. Flint, a shot at goal. And Slytherin scores. Just look at Potter go. Potter edges into the lead. Brilliant flying. Potter nudges ahead. Don't know what Harry thinks he's doing. If I didn't know better, I'd say he'd lost control of his broom. Maybe something happened to it when Flint blocked him. No, can't nothing interfere with a broomstick except powerful dark magic. No kid could do that to a Nimbus 2000. A shot at goal! But he needs to look where he's going. It's within his cross! He's going to have to get close again! Just look at Potter go. Potter edges into the lead. He loses control. Slytherin will really be kicking themselves after that performance. He's back in control. A shot at goal. And Slytherin scores. From Potter. Just look at Potter go. He loses control. He's back in control. Slytherin will really be kicking themselves after that performance. Oh, a nasty smack from a bludger there. Great flying! Just look at Potter go! It looks like the broom's got a mind of its own! It's Snape! He's jinxing the broom! What do we do? Leave it to me. He regains control! I can feel that tackle from up here. Potter edges in front. Whoa! 
What is he doing? He's back in control. Angelina Johnson's taken a hard hit there. And the quaffle is passed. And Gryffindor scores. And Gryffindor scores. Potter nudges ahead. What on earth is Potter doing? He regains control. Look out, Potter! Great broom work! Just look at Potter go! Ow! Johnson must be hurting after that tackle. What on earth is Potter doing? The chase of the passing the quaffle. He regains control. And Gryffindor scores. Potter nudges ahead. Potter's so close. Incendio. Chase is a passing the quaffle. A shot at goal. Oh, that was a great save. Flint passes the quaffle. A shot at goal. And Slytherin scores. Potter edges in front. Fortunate nothing. He's got the snitch. Well done, Harry. It was Snape. Hermione and I saw him. He was cursing your broomstick, muttering. He wouldn't take his eyes off you. I know a jinx when I see one. I've read all about them. We've got to go to Dumbledore. Come on, Harry, let's go. 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 The wizard hat. I'd better return it to the common room. Get him, 
move on, Harry? Come on, Harry, let's go. What are you three doing? We want to see Professor Dumbledore. See Professor Dumbledore? Why? It's sort of secret. Professor Dumbledore left ten minutes ago. He received an urgent owl from the Ministry of Magic and flew off for London at once. He's gone? Yes, Mr. Potter. Gone. And so should you be. Goodbye. more we can do. I'm for bed. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. I knew it! I knew it! I never thought to look in here. I got this out of the library weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light? Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The what? Oh, honestly, don't you two read? Of course! Here it is! Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone is a legendary substance with astonishing powers. It will transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life, which will make the drinker immortal. Immortal? It means you never die. The only stone currently in existence belongs to Mr. Nicholas Flamel, the noted alchemist who last year celebrated his 665th birthday. No wonder we couldn't find Flamel in that A study of recent developments in wizardry book. He's not exactly recent if he's 665, is he? That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. That's what's under the trap door. The Philosopher's Stone. Come on, Harry. We've got to stop Snape. A stone that makes gold and stops you from ever dying. No wonder Snape's after it. Snape doesn't want the stone for himself. He wants the stone for Voldemort. With the elixir of life, Voldemort will be strong again. He'll... he'll come back. What do we do? We go down the trap door. Tonight. Well, if that's what it's going to take, follow me to the third floor. Mmm, coconut. Spinach flavour. I really appreciate you finding the wizard hat, Harry. 
Thanks, and here's a wizard card. Glenda Chittuck. 1964 to the present. Popular presenter of the WWN, Wizarding Wireless Network program, Witching Hour. It's Professor Snape behind all this. You really think it's Professor Snape behind all this? I hope we don't run into any teachers. We'd better go before someone catches us. We'd better go before someone catches us. You really think it's Professor Snape behind all this? Is Professor Snape behind all this? Get a move on, hurry! Get a move on, hurry! We'd better go before someone catches us. We don't run into any teachers. Wait a minute. He's snoring. Look, it's obvious Snape's already got past Fluffy. If you two want to go back, don't be stupid. We're coming. Right then, I'll go first. Don't follow until I give a sign. If something bad happens, get yourselves out. Does it seem a bit quiet to you? Yuck! What's this ruddy stuff? What's this stuff? Dunno. I suppose it's here to break the fall. Lucky it's here, really. Lucky? Ron! Ron, where are you? Over here, Harry! Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue you. Just hold on. I know what this is. It's Devil's Snare. Oh! I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help! Shut up. I'm trying to remember how to kill it. Well, hurry up! I can't breathe! Devil's snare, devil's snare. What did Professor Sprout say? Dances in the dark, delights in the damp. Yes, of course! You have to cast Defindo to get rid of the tentacles and then use Incendio. Harry, you take that side and I'll take this side.
Defendo! 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 Incendio! <laughs> Defendo! 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 Incendio! Defendo! 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 Incendio! Defendo! 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 Incendio! Defendo! 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 Incendio! Thanks. Much appreciated. Oh, it was nothing. Lucky you pay attention to herbology, Hermione. Curious. I've never seen birds like these. They're not birds, they're keys. And I'll bet one of them fits that door. Alohomora! Well, it was worth a try. Oh, what are we going to do? There are hundreds of them. We're looking for a big old fashioned one. Probably gold. Like the handle. There, I see it. The one with the bright blue wings. Where's Ron? He went on ahead. What? It's a chess challenge. He's better at chess than both of us. He should have waited. We're in this together. Let's go in, Harry. We need to make sure Ron's okay. Harry? Come on, Harry! 
three. Oh no! Run! What if he's... He'll be all right. What do you think he's trying to do before he... I think we've got to destroy all the white pieces. I'll go. Be careful, Harry! Now what do I do? Looks like you're playing black. Step up to the Black Knight, Harry. I'm sure you can always change your mind and move a different piece. Then, when you're sure of which piece you want to move, and to which square, you make your move. OK, I'll give it a go. King to B4. to H3. Knight to D2. to C5. Pawn to G4. Knight to E3. King to B5. Knight to E4. Knight to F5. to E6. Knight to D7. I'm sure he'll be alright. Listen, you've got to get him to the hospital when, then go straight to the Owlery and send Hedwig to Dumbledore. I might be able to hold off Snape for a while, but I'm no match for him really. You're a great wizard, Harry Potter. You are, you know. I'm not as good as you are. Me? Books and cleverness? There are more important things. Friendship and bravery and... Oh, Harry, be careful! You! Snape! He was the... Yes, does seem the type, doesn't he? Next to him, who would suspect poor stuttering Professor Quirrell? But that day, during the Quidditch match, Snape tried to kill me. 
No, dear boy. I tried to kill you! And trust me, if Snape's cloak hadn't caught fire and broken my eye contact, I would have succeeded. Even with Snape muttering his little counter curse. Well, Snape's not here to save you now. Let's see if you're a match for these beautiful beasts. Now, tell me, what do you see? What is it? What do you see? I... I'm shaking hands with Dumbledore. I... I've won the House Cup. He lies! Let me speak to him. Master, you are not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Hurry, Potter. We meet again. Voldemort. Yes. You see what I've become? See what I must do to survive. Live off another, a mere parasite. Unicorn blood can sustain me, but it cannot give me a body of my own. 
but uh, there is something that can. Something that, <gasps> conveniently enough, lies in your pocket. Stop him! Be careful, Master. The mirror is protecting you. The mirror is reflecting your power back at you, Master! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Guardium Leviosa, your parents died begging me for mercy. Master, you must be careful. Wing Guardium Leviosa. Guardium Leviosa. Need I sleep? No, Master. Need I sleep? Wingardium Leviosa! Need I sleep? Wingardium Leviosa! Need I sleep? Master, you must be careful! Wingardium, kill him and be done. Dependo Wingardium, Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa! Need I sleep? Dependo! Wingardium Leviosa! It hurts! Incendio! Need I sleep? Wingardium Leviosa! Need I sleep? Need I sleep? Wingardium Leviosa! What is this magic? Fool, get the stone.
Now, as I understand it, the points stand thus. In fourth place, Hufflepuff. In third place, Ravenclaw. In second place, Slytherin. And in first place, Gryffindor. I have a few last-minute points to dish out. Let me see. Ah, yes. First, to Mr. Ronald Weasley, for the best-played game of chess Hogwarts has seen in many years. I award Gryffindor House ten points. Second, to Miss Hermione Granger, for the use of cool logic in the face of fire. I award Gryffindor House ten points. Third, to Mr. Harry Potter, for pure nerve and outstanding courage. I award Gryffindor House ten points. The House Cup ceremony will be starting soon. We should make our way to the Great Hall. Hermione's right, Harry. You don't want to miss this. We've got a real chance to beat Slytherin. Come on, Harry, let's go. Yeah, I hope we've got enough house points to beat Slytherin. I'd really love to see Malfoy's face if we do it. Witches and Wizards card collection, Harry. I bet there's some still hiding around Hogwarts. Oh, but it's really great being famous. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned. That Draco Malfoy really gets on my nerves. So you're the famous Harry Potter. Pleased to meet you. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. Big snout. Move on, hurry! Why don't you spend our last day of term exploring those places where you haven't been before? Or perhaps you could try exploring those places where you have been before. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. 
She's just big boned. Hey, Harry, I heard you were showing them a move or two over at the Quidditch Stadium. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. Great match yesterday, Potter. Why don't you spend our last day of term exploring those places where you haven't been before? Or perhaps you could try exploring those places where you have been before. I bet we've got enough house points to win the cup, Harry. Let's go in now. I want to see Malfoy squirm. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. The house point totals are being calculated. We come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor.
If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Ron, look! 